So today I'm going to be telling the story of how I met my husband. It's not like a normal, uh, you know, story, but uh, it's very interesting. So don't forget to subscribe and to give it a big thumbs up if you guys like it. So uh, let's get started. So back in 2015, March of 2015, my parents, I was living with my parents at the time, I was 18 years old and I was living with my mom and my stepdad. And basically they decided that they wanted to go on vacation in March of 2015 to the Dominican Republic. Most of the time people don't take vacations in March because of schooling and you know job work and stuff like that but um, my brothers and sisters and I we were all homeschooled so I didn't interfere with any schooling that we had so basically we you know went on vacation in March like mid-March yeah mid-March and we went to my stepdad's side of the family um, their little hometown and we stayed there I stayed with them for about three weeks and then I left to my aunt's house uh, from my biological father's side just to visit her because I had never seen them and they wanted to get to know me since I was over there and I went over to her house and she lived in the capital. While I was over there, um, I was on Facebook, you know, like just whatever, you know, doing what people do on Facebook, <laughs> you know, looking at posts or whatever and I remember that I saw a friend request and Usually before I accept any friend request, like I, I usually have to know the person to accept it. I don't I just accept any random person's friend requests. So I remember getting this friend request and it was from my husband. I didn't accept it immediately. So, um, you know, I let, I wanted to like check out his page to see who he was because I just, I didn't trust, you know, I didn't just accept friend requests like I said. So I remember looking on his page and going through his photos and I remember, um, thinking to myself, oh he's so cute, and um, and then I accepted his friend request because he was good looking, because he was attractive. Um, I didn't think anything of it, I just accepted it, I was like, hey, whatever, you know, that way I can see him, he can see me. Basically, um, I accepted his friend request, and I don't remember if it was the same day or the day after, but he sent me a message, and this was like in the beginning of April or something. And he sent me a message and he was like, oh, hey, beautiful. And I responded to him like, uh, who are you? Because I was very, um, I don't know, I was just very dry. Like, I don't know why I was like that, but I just was like, mm, I don't know you, like, why are you calling me beautiful? It was weird. And so he's like, he said, oh, my name is Marion and I'm from Oswa. He actually ended up being from the same hometown where I actually was, like, the previous week you know what I'm saying and he was actually part of that town where I was staying with my stepdad side of the family so that was cool and he uh, you know started messaging me and I remember I was very like dry with him like I didn't really um, you know I didn't I wasn't like in love with him or anything I didn't really I wasn't that interested to be honest but you know he was good looking so I, I I talked to him, but I was very dry when I spoke to him. You know, he'd say, oh, how are you? And I'd be like, good. Oh, that's great. I'm like, yeah. You know, and so that's basically how our conversations went. But he was persistent and he would text me. And then after a little bit of time passed by, uh, I started, you know, opening up or whatever. And then I remember it, the 23rd of April, that was the day he asked me to be his girlfriend. And at that time, uh, I was single. Um, and I was, I know I had, had a little bit of time knowing him, but I was like, hey, why not? Because uh, I had never had a boyfriend before. And that's another story for another day because it's due to like my parents being very like strict and I'll tell that story another day. But basically, I was 18 years old and I never had a boyfriend in my life. And so I was like, hey, why not? Like, let's see how this, uh, let's see what happens. So I said yes and, uh, you know, we knew each other as boyfriend and girlfriend. In uh, the like mid-April, I had to go back to New York to live with my um, to live with my biological father. So I flew out to New York in April, and we still, you know, kept um, chatting and stuff. But we had not seen each other physically at all during this time. From the you know from the moment we started talking to you know 
until I went on vacation, which is, I'll get to that part, but I had not seen him before I left physically. So we kept on talking. I forgot to mention this part, but I actually, I didn't even know, uh, he only spoke Spanish because he's from the country, but I didn't know how to speak back Spanish. So what I would do is I would use Google Translate, which Google Translate, if you guys have used it, you know that it doesn't even do a good job translating. But I would use that to like, you know, uh, try to communicate with him and he would only speak to me in Spanish and I remember uh, I would ask um, my sisters a lot for help in Spanish because they knew more Spanish than I did and I would just be like so confused sometimes when he would talk to me he would tell me something and I'd be like oh, what is he saying oh my god but he kept talking to me and he knew I didn't know Spanish but like he kept talking to me and this was all through messenger like all messages I hadn't even heard his voice like it was crazy like I don't even know how we did that but Anyways, we did that and we started talking and then my father and my sisters, they were all going to go on vacation to the Dominican Republic in uh, June. Yes, I believe it was June. So, uh, I told him, I was like, oh hey, um, we're going on vacation in June, why don't you, like, like, why don't we meet up so that we can meet in person? And he's like, yeah, sure, like, can you, can you come down to, you know, where I am at? And I was like, mm, not really. So he wanted, I remember like he wanted to meet me somewhere. And I was like, oh hell no. I was like, I watched way too many <laughs> like scary movies. I know how this ends. I was like, I wasn't scared if not cautious because like, you don't know. I met him through Facebook. You don't know if that's, you know, if that could be a real person or not. So I was like, no. I said, why don't you come to where I'm going to be staying, which I was staying at my aunt's house, the same aunt that I had stayed in last time I was there and I was like come over to their house and then we can meet up and we can talk and, and but at least you'll be with my family. So he actually took a two hour trip because where he lived was two hours away from where the um, the capital was which is where I was staying with my aunt. He took a two hour trip to come and see me and I remember like the first time I saw him like I was just like nervous. I, I didn't even know what to because it's weird you know like you know I've spoken to him through messages and that's it hadn't even heard your voice and now I'm seeing you uh, of course I've seen photos of him but I was like it's just weird but I remember uh, meeting him for the first time I gave him a hug I met him downstairs and then we came upstairs and um, and then we just started talking and getting to know each other and that and um, so that was fine and um, we just you know I, he met my sisters he met my family and everybody and um, he tells me now that he was actually very nervous because like, I don't know, he would never met someone like me. I was like, oh, you know, <laughs> that's nice. Um, but yeah, we just, you know, we met each other for the first time. It was actually very nice. Like, that was a very special moment, you know. It was the first time we had seen each other. And the funny thing is though, you know how I said like we hadn't even seen each other uh, before that in person? We had, but I don't remember. Like, I remember, but I don't remember. And I don't know if this makes sense. But basically, when I was over there, there was one night that I had stayed up. And I was, like, sitting on the balcony. And it was, like, late at night. And he was walking back to his house. And he saw me and he saw my mom. But I don't remember, like, too much what the interaction was. But he says we saw each other. So, basically, he came over to my aunt's house. He came over three times I believe to my aunt's house to come visit me um honestly like my thoughts were oh like once I go back to New York because I was gonna go back in July I was like oh once I go back to New York I'll probably never hear from him again that's what was my thought process it was the com like totally the contrary like we um kept talking I went back to New York in July and we kept you know having this long distance relationship and a lot of people i remember a lot of people were telling me oh how can you have a uh, like how can you have a relationship with somebody who speaks a different language than you how can you have a relationship with somebody who's so far away from you and i was just like well you just do like it wasn't that big of a deal for me so then in august um it sounds really funny but Oh no, I think my baby's waking up. Hold on one second. Three hours later. <laughs> I'm back with my baby. 
We're gonna do a video, baby. Look at we're doing a video. Okay. So, as I was saying, um, and excuse me, in August, I decided that I wanted to actually go back to my mom's house to stay with her for some time. So in August, I went to my mom's house. She was actually at this point living in the Dominican Republic. Even though we had went for vacation, they decided they wanted to live there. So I went back to her house and I stayed with her for some time. And while I was there, because she was living in the, in like in the same uh, um, uh, hometown as my stepdad's family, we, uh, Myron, my husband, he was actually there too. And so he would visit me every single day, like over to my mom's house, and that was very fun, you know. Like, I, you know, I would, I would get so excited to see him, and you know, at this point, I was falling in love with him. And I remember just, you know, he would come over all the time, and you know, and we would see each other a lot. And then in September, I decided to move in with him. So I went to live with him for some time. We were still in love, and it was like the honeymoon stage, basically. And, um, you know, I stayed with him in his house and, um, you know, I had gotten sick and this happened like in December, but the thing is that the reason why I got sick was because I had never, like I, it wasn't a normal thing for me to go to vacation in the Dominican Republic. Like, it was the first time in, I don't know how many years because I was four years old the last time I went to the Dominican Republic and because of the, you know, just a lot of factors, it's just so different from America that I, you know, it just, um, I just got sick. I just got really sick over there. So basically in December I got sick and I decided to come back to the States because over here I felt like I could get better care than over there. So I came back to the States and he stayed over there and, um, and we decided that we were going to continue like the long distance relationship. Um, I came back to the States, I got better and we continued talking you know since then and basically um in uh, that was in december of 2015 i was staying at the house of my grandmother's house and um i came to the states i got myself a job and you know like i started you know working hard and doing um all the things that are independent adult has to do and um and then in june i'm lying in july i went to go visit him and that was like oh my gosh that was just the best because like we had not seen each other in six months it was so hard like when i left i loved him like someone once asked me oh when did you know that you loved him and i really fell in love with him like it really happened when uh i got sick in the dominican republic and that's when i knew this was gonna be you know my husband this is when I knew like this was it because I remember being sick and I didn't have anybody because my, my parents lived so um, far away at this point they had uh, moved to a different part of the country and I didn't have any family and I remember when I got really sick and he took me to the hospital and he sacrificed so much he cleaned me up and he he just he just took care of me and um that was a really hard time in my life but honestly like i loved him so much like i was like wow like he could have you know he could have left me like and he's taking care of me and so he took very good care of me and you know and he you know obviously he didn't want me to go but he was like don't worry you go back you'll get better um you know you do what you have to do and i will see each other and so um when i went back in june for vacation over there like it was just uh, amazing like i got to see him again um it was so fun <laughs> and i'm getting emotional and i don't like to get emotional but it was it was uh it was such a nice reunion because i had missed him so much oh i missed him so much yeah but um so i went in july I'm oh, sorry guys. <laughs> I went in July um, and I stayed there for three weeks. And you know, we just enjoyed each other's company. Like we just, you know, we would go out and to the mall and just do things like, you know, we went out to the movies, just did a bunch of fun stuff, you know? And um, 
and then I came back to the States. We, you know, we continued the long distance relationship. And then in October, um, my great grandmother passed away. So I went back to the United, I'm sorry, back to the Dominican Republic because that's where she was from to, to bury her for a funeral. And my husband actually came also. And, um, and then I went over to where he was staying and that's when you know he proposed to me and we made it official and everything so that was that was very nice and um basically uh, i did get pregnant and this is his, this is our baby say hi this is our baby and um and right now uh he's gonna be coming to join me here in the united states very soon hopefully by the end of the year or the beginning of next year and you'll be seeing him on this channel when he comes um or even maybe even sooner than that because we're gonna go visit him before he comes and and basically that's it that's our love story like um you know it's uh like you know the reason why i say it's you know it's very um rare is because you don't really hear of long distance relationships too often well I, a lot of people discourage me from having long distance relationships but to tell you the truth it's the best thing ever you know that's when your love is tested you know for reals that's when your love is really tested and uh i know he loves me and i love him and you know and i'm just so excited for when he gets here and uh, thank you for listening to my story um don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and have a great day guys Alrighty, bye bye Say bye! <laughs>